So you go back to the very, very early days of banking, the goldsmiths basically were the ones that kept the gold. And the goldsmiths would hand out a receipt to people that owned the gold, and they had a one-to-one correspondence. Everything was basically in a segregated account. And what the goldsmiths noticed after some time was that roughly only 10% of the people ever came back for their gold. Rather than the people exchanging gold for a product or a service, they just cha- exchanged the receipts. So they, or maybe not all of them, but some of them decided, well, we'll just print up some receipts to make ourselves richer. So they basically turn a segregated account into an allocated or a pool allocated account and started issuing a lot of more receipts than the gold available, somewhere around the 10 to 1 leverage, because they knew about a tenth of the time people came back. And then one day, one townsperson realized, saw the inflation, you know, these guys are really spending a lot of gold. I wonder if they really got that much. I'm going to go get my gold. And that was the first bank run. Because these people came with their receipts and said, I want my gold. And there were a heck of a lot more receipts than there were gold available because the goldsmiths had basically cheated the people. That's a brief analogy for how it all started. It's in the record. You can read it almost anywhere if you do a cursory study on the gold market. 